The term perspective describes all of the different ways that you can create an illusion of three-dimensional space in your drawings and other two-dimensional compositions. Some perspectival rules are quite intuitive. For example, overlapping compositional elements creates the illusion that certain objects are in front and others are behind. Also, things appear to get smaller the further away they are from the viewer. For example, the shrubs closest to us in this image of a desert road are larger than those in the far distance. We also tend to read elements near the bottom of the image as closer to us in space, while things near the top are further away. This has to do with the way we read layers of space in an image. The terms foreground, middle ground, and background describe the spatial layers of the composition in relation to the viewer. The foreground is the closest to the viewer's space, and the background is the farthest away. When we observe parallel lines recede into space, like the lines of this road, they appear to converge. This happens for the same reason that objects appear smaller in the distance. In this case, it's the distance between the lines that appear to get smaller as the lines recede. The point at which parallel lines appear to converge is called the vanishing point which sits on the horizon line. The horizon line is synonymous with the Earth's horizon. It's also related to the eye level of the viewer. The position of your horizon line changes relative to your unique position in space. That's why it's interesting to think about your observed spatial drawings as a way of documenting a physical point of view and transferring it to the viewer. If the horizon line matches the viewer's line of sight, it enhances the illusion of space, allowing the viewer to step into the artist's point of view. Atmospheric perspective describes the way that things lose visual resolution as they recede into space. When we look through deep space, our view is compounded by the physical atmosphere around us. The buildup of all of those molecules and haze accounts for the way that things in the foreground tend to have the greatest resolution and contrast, while things in the background tend to lose these details. When observing deeper space, like a room or a landscape, you can use the sight measuring technique to determine angles and proportions, just as you would for a still life drawing. When drawing an interior space, it's always best to start with the structural elements first. Try to draw the walls, floor, and ceiling before getting into the details of furniture and objects. Look for the X shape that commonly connects these sets of receding parallel lines. Even if you can't see it through the back wall, the point where the X meets is the vanishing point. Any straight vertical lines need to be parallel with the vertical edge of your paper. This includes both door frames and the seams between walls.